Russia loses 200 to 250 soldiers daily in Ukraine, Russian media. Russian military casualties have significantly increased in recent months, reaching approximately 200 to 250 soldiers per day, independent Russian outlet Medusa reported, citing its own investigation. The journalists said they arrived at their operational estimate using data from Russia's official registry of inheritance affairs. This estimate is based on a mathematical model that considers the age distribution of newly discovered fatalities and their known probability of inclusion in a name-by-name -name list of deceased soldiers of various ages. The analysis suggests that the data from the registry allows for an approximation of the real number of casualties as the database refers to about 70% of all deaths in Russia. However, not all deaths result in an entry being opened. Based on their calculations, the journalists reported that since the beginning of 2024, Russian losses have increased by approximately 39,000, nearly doubling the average casualty rate of about 150 soldiers per day seen in the last three months of 2023. Now the rate is closer to 250 soldiers per day. According to Medusa's model, at least 120,000 Russian soldiers have died since the 2022 invasion of Ukraine. Considering the margin of error, the actual number lies somewhere between 106,000 and 140,000. Ukraine's general staff estimates that the Russian military's personnel losses surpassed 545,000. The overall consensus is that it includes dead, wounded, missing and captured. In February, Zelensky said that 180,000 Russian troops had been killed since the start of the all-out war. The president said that over 31,000 Ukrainian soldiers were killed during the same time. Western officials gave similar estimates about Russian battlefield losses. Leo Doherty, British Minister of State for the Armed Forces, said in late April the UK estimates Russian losses to be over 450,000. We estimate that approximately 450,000 Russian military personnel have been killed or wounded and tens of thousands more have already deserted since the start of the conflict. Doherty said in Parliament the number of personnel killed serving in Russian private military companies is not clear. He added, Ukraine is creating at least 10 new brigades against Russia, but they lack weapons. Ukraine is forming several new brigades amid mobilization, but will likely not be able to arm them due to delays in assistance from its partners. As the Institute for the Study of War, ISW, reports, timely and appropriate Western security assistance remains a critical factor in determining when and to what extent Ukrainian forces will be able to challenge the initiative on the battlefield and conduct operationally significant counter-offensive operations in the future. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that Ukrainian forces are in a better position in terms of manpower than they were a few months ago. However, he has also acknowledged that Ukraine's ability to conduct a future counter-offensive depends on equipping brigades with heavy equipment such as mechanized combat vehicles, armored personnel carriers, tanks and heavy artillery. Analysts say this includes at least 10 new Ukrainian brigades planned. The commander of a Ukrainian brigade operating near Chazovoya provided a similar assessment at the tactical level, saying that Ukrainian forces in his operational zone were more in need of ammunition than of manpower. Zelensky acknowledged that military equipment is taking too long to arrive at the front. The slow flow of American security aid is hampering Ukraine's efforts to equip reserve brigades sufficiently to engage in defensive operations. At the same time, Ukrainian media constantly emphasize the lack of sufficient material resources to equip all the new Ukrainian brigades that are currently being formed. Current reports note that due to the slow supply of weapons, equipping the new brigades is questionable. Analysts say Ukraine's ability to conduct operationally significant counter-offensive operations at a time of its choosing is critical to avoid protracting the war. There is no time or flexibility to wait for the security of Western assistance to equip new units. The Russians are trying to use the initiative on the battlefield to try to force Ukraine to commit manpower and equipment to ongoing defensive operations and prevent it from accumulating the decisive personnel and resources needed to seize the initiative.